My name is Mikhail Turkin, and I'm academic supervisor of the bachelor's program Media Communications uh, at Harris School of Economics in St. Petersburg. Well, basically, I'm a media researcher, a historian of media, a media anthropologist and philosopher. I used to study history and to work uh, as an international journalist. Uh, so I'm trying to combine uh, both interests of mine in my research. Uh, at the moment, I'm working on the Scopus article about political polarization uh, in Germany and how media influence this process. And another uh, field of my research uh, is more future-oriented. Uh, I'm interested in how artificial intelligence uh, influences uh, media uh, in terms of uh, media production and in terms of media consumption. Um, it is uh, really a very mm, interesting philosophical and anthropological question whether um, and your networks, artificial intelligence, uh, can be uh, creators of uh, media content uh, or just assistant uh, of uh, human beings, of um, human media specialists. It's a very interesting process. It is highly important uh, to study media communications uh, nowadays uh, because we live in the age of information, when information and media are omnipresent. Um, we uh, are in the media space uh, nearly 24-7 uh, because we use our gadgets, our computers, our smartphones, uh, and we are very much uh, dependent upon uh, media space. Uh, we live, uh, many people uh, start living uh, to <clears throat> make uh, their uh, virtual media image more attractive. Uh, for example, we go to the restaurants uh, in order to um, create uh, beautiful pictures uh, for our social networks. Um, and uh, we um, see this process not only in our private everyday life, uh, but also in more serious uh, realms, uh, such as politics. Uh, so now it is vitally important uh, to study uh, media communication because media influence uh, all spheres of our life. I think uh, that uh, media research uh, is exciting because it is interdisciplinary. Uh, if you mm, truly want to become uh, a good media researcher, uh, you uh, need to study not uh, only uh, media in terms of technologies. Of course, it is very important, uh, but you need uh, to um, <clears throat> go deeper than that uh, and uh, to uh, study other sciences, for example, um, <clears throat> political science, economy, uh, sociology, anthropology, uh, psychology, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, so good media researchers are um, characterized by uh, very wide knowledge and erudition. At the moment, we are working on documentary film uh, designed uh, to bring uh, India and Russia uh, closer to each other. Uh, our goal is uh, to familiarize Russian younger people with uh, Indian culture. And uh, basically, our documentary is about uh, guru and uh, student uh, relations uh, in different realms, uh, religion, spirituality, educational system, uh, technology, economy, uh, dance, uh, music, uh, and cinema. I think that uh, being a researcher uh, is inspiring a uh, process itself, uh, but you need uh, to have a special character. You need to be a special person uh, in order to uh, be uh, happy while conducting research. Some researchers are more pragmatic, uh, they are more into applied uh, science, uh, they want uh, to uh, get uh, some practical results uh, from their research. And uh, as for me personally, I belong to idealists. I want to know how the world works, what it is all about. Uh, and this uh, process of uh, expanding knowledge, uh, trying to understand uh, <clears throat> the world around you, uh, people around you, is extremely inspiring uh, because uh, it has to do with creativity. Uh, so I think that uh, being a researcher is something uh, truly inspiring.
uh, there are many different ways how they can do it. Of course, they can write um, course papers, uh, they can work on their diplomas, uh, which is very important. Uh, but at the moment, we're trying to develop our uh, research project, uh, which has to do with uh, um, mathematic uh, algorithms and artificial intelligence. And we're trying to involve our uh, bachelor's and master students uh, to perform at the conference, uh, to write uh, scientific uh, articles as our co-authors uh, and to conduct um, some uh, research using sociological methods. It depends on the person. I'm an academic supervisor, so I'm really happy because my uh, job is extremely diverse. I'm an organizer, a manager of educational process. Uh, I'm still a professor. That means that I conduct uh, lectures and seminars, and I'm still very happy when I'm in front of the audience, I can share my ideas, uh, and uh, not only teach, but learn something important from the students. But I'm also a PR specialist because uh, my uh, job is to promote uh, our educational uh, program uh, in different events and uh, in uh, digital media space. Uh, I'm also um, in charge uh, of uh, international contacts. I'm trying to um, establish uh, academic uh, links and promote student exchange between uh, Higher School of Economics and our uh, international partners. Uh, and I'm really happy because uh, my uh, job is so diverse and so multidimensional. I uh, really love uh, being a part of uh, HEC uh, St. Petersburg uh, because we combine uh, innovations and traditions. We are future-oriented, but we also don't forget about uh, traditions. On our campus, uh, we feel atmosphere of St. Petersburg, uh, but it is not a museum, it is a laboratory uh, of uh, best uh, practices for the future uh, in terms of uh, research and in terms of uh, uh, all kinds of projects. But I believe uh, that uh, we are success-oriented, uh, just like the majority of uh, professors and students at our university. But we live in St. Petersburg, and St. Petersburg uh, is uh, the city where culture really matters. And uh, our attitude to life and research uh, is less pragmatic. Uh, and so uh, this uh, combination of um, being innovative and tradition-oriented uh, makes our university truly unique.